Hello my soccer universe, let's do a quick update on the Women's World Cup yesterday, there were only two games um, and I want to go by group, so we'll start off with South Africa against China, which was actually the late game. I mean the scheduling at this World Cup is now a little bit weird, we have now some days with three games and there are some with only two games, so yesterday we had two and I think today we all also only have two games. Um, the story is quickly told. China is bossing South Africa around. They get a goal by Ying in the 40th minute, which was actually quite uh, nicely taken. Uh, I think two minutes later they even hit the crossbar and it comes down. It could have been 2-0. They just don't get the other goal and uh, it finishes 1-0 for China. Uh, now in the table, uh, China draws level with Spain. However, China has still um, Spain to play. so. Remains to be seen. I think a draw would probably see both of them through. Germany, of course, leads with both 1 0 wins against uh, Spain and China. South Africa in last place looks like it's the team to be eliminated. The big game yesterday, however, was Australia against Brazil. And I'm wearing Australia, um, meaning Australia won. First of all, let me say, wonderful jersey matchup. The, um, uh, South Africa China game was uh, jersey wise not. As nice, I mean, it was yellow against um, red. I would have wished that it is the gray one against the green one, but okay. Uh, back to Australia against Brazil. Um, it was a historic game for many uh, ways. Of course, Australia is now the more possessing team and so on. However, Brazil gets a penalty that Marta converts in the 27th minute and now she scores in five consecutive World Cups, which I think no one has ever achieved, even on the men's side. So that's a record. Christian makes it, or Christiane, Christian makes it 2 0 in the 38th, and it really looks like Brazil is on a good way at this World Cup. However, Caitlin Ford uh, pulls from back right before the halftime. It was stoppage time of halftime. Um, it was actually a nice um, a cross touched by uh, with a header and falls to Ford who just uh, with the uh, right foot puts it into the net. Um, was also a pretty nice goal. And then second half the weird goals came uh, and they both look both goals that came looked very similar. The, um, in the 58th Chloe Logarzo takes a shot and it the goalkeeper for Brazil never can really see it um, because um, she's probably speculating with a deflection or whatever uh, because there was um, Australian attacker the big one I don't remember now number 20 uh, was right there in the mix as well so you think she, she could get a touch there were a few defenders and just flies past her into the net didn't look good. Uh, definitely a goalkeeping mistake. And then just 10 minutes later, a very similar situation um, where an own goal from Monica seals Brazil's fate. And unfortunately, um, that was that was that. And again, it looked it was this cross from the same time. It would have been offside if the uh, Australian would have gotten a uh, touch on it, but it was not to be. And Australia gets the World Cup campaign back on track after the surprise loss to Italy. At the moment, Brazil still leads the group uh, with three um, points, level with Italy and Australia, uh, and it's only down to goal difference. Um, but you know, Australia still has to play Jamaica, and Italy plays Jamaica uh, today, and Australia can. Uh, probably boost their goal difference or even if they get a point against Jamaica well Brazil and Italy that might be a tighter matchup so it's gonna be interesting how that one will evolve okay hope you enjoyed this quick update sorry for not being too organized uh, with the games today otherwise I think I did reasonably well give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.